an important concept to be aware of is our golf swing, all we're really doing is we're swinging the club around our body in a circle. So a visual I'd want you to have, if you uh, imagine just being in your backyard, think of this as a stick or a broom handle, and if I asked you just to swing it around you in a circle, you know, just something like this, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on. My shoulders are turning, my hips are turning, my knees, my feet, my wrists are hinging and unhinging, my arms are folding, but all these things that are happening, I'm not trying to do those, it's just my body reacting to this idea of swinging something around me. So, and what we'll quite often do in golf is we can overcomplicate things fairly quickly by trying now to dissect and explain all these movements that are going on. But if you just stick with this idea, this concept of all I'm really doing is swinging the club around me in a circle, so if golf was played with a ball up here at chest height or waist height, I'd take the club back and I'd take it through, and as best I could, I'd be swinging this club around me on the level where the, the ball is. So I use this hula hoop quite often to provide a little bit uh, of an extra visual for this. So if you can imagine this hula hoop here, I'd be standing right here. This would be me or the, the golfer standing here, and here's the club traveling around us in this circle. But now, of course, golf's not played with the ball up here waist height. It's on the ground, so our circle gets tilted over. So here I would be swinging in a circle at waist height, balls on the ground, so I have an adjustment in my setup. But still, let's just think of this idea, this club is still just going around me, up and down in a circle. Instead of it being flat, we'll have our tilted over look here. So here's the golfer standing here, there's the club going around them. If you're left-handed, it would, it would look this way. So this idea, now it doesn't, we'll, we'll call it 45 degrees here for simplicity's sakes, but you're not going right up and down this circle perfectly, that, that's not necessary. There's certainly, you could be a little steeper, you could be a little flatter, so there's an area of acceptability in here as you're swinging the club around you. But I just want you always to come back to this, um, just to really simplify things. So if you're practicing, if you're just getting started, or you want to get a feel, a general idea of how the, this club should be going around you, just take your setup and think as you're going back, just picture this club going up one side of your circle, coming back down and going up the other side. And just let your body move however it wants to move as you're doing this, up one side, down and around the other. And don't worry about it being perfect. You don't have to go up exactly and come down exactly on the same line you went up. Just this general idea, the general concept, grab my hula hoop here again, is that here we are standing here, and this body is just, this club, sorry, is just traveling around your body in a circle, a tilted over circle.